instead of using cars, you could start walking to keep fit. You could drive, but don't just for one person. Our main air quality problems come from vehicles on the road, so to improve air quality, you need to do two things. Firstly, look at how clean those vehicles are. Secondly, we need to look at the actual volume of traffic that's particularly coming into our towns and cities. Having cities given over to traffic essentially dehumanises those cities and we need to rehumanise our cities because part of what flows from that is that we get better quality of civic spaces, we get lower levels of pollution and people generally tend to be happier in those kind of places. Many mechanisms for reducing carbon emissions from traffic. The primary focus is to obviously to avoid using vehicles altogether and to use other forms of transport. The transference of the use of the private motor vehicle onto more sustainable public transport and also looking at technologies that will reduce emissions from private vehicles like goods vehicles and heavy goods vehicles. We can force the fleet to become cleaner more quickly and this is what the low emission zone does. It forces all those people who want to drive lorries or coaches or buses in London to have these newer, cleaner vehicles. Technology has really improved emissions performance for some pollutants for three-way catalysts for petrol cars as an example. However, the problem here is that sometimes you can adopt a technology to solve a problem, but then you have unintended consequences and you create problems elsewhere. So it's much about changing the way we think about travelling. Sometimes you assume driving is the quickest thing to do or the most comfortable thing to do and especially in London, very often it's going to be quicker to cycle somewhere. And that's kind of why it's called smarter travel because it's saying walking is an option, cycling is an option, the Thames is an option, the Tube's an option, Overland Rail is an option, so people then know how to get around. Camden has been working towards improving air quality since 2000. We've invested in electric vehicle charging points to encourage electrics, hybrid and gas-powered vehicles. Businesses have a role to play as well, so it's how they use their vehicles and having better driving practices and using cleaner vehicles. We've built our fleet entirely zero emission from the bottom up and the idea of consolidating loads that are going to the same area in London so you reduce the traffic movement. The cargo cycles themselves are very manoeuvrable, they don't take up too much space and yeah, they're fun to ride. People can lower the emissions through energy as well, living at bedside. These colourful wind cows that are on top of the buildings, they spin around with the wind. It's an air conditioning unit that doesn't use any energy. If we can marry the benefits of incorporating low emission vehicle strategies with low emission energy sources, I think we can create a win-win.